tonight, ladies, if you are looking for your Prince Charming, you probably want to check in the uh, gay clubs, you know, bisexual men, gay men. If you're waiting on your Prince Charming, you know, you're going to have to be cool with that because most of these men are laid up, cuddling up, besides Tyrone. You know, and the way today works, you know, people are fluid. And you're just going to have to love them for who they are. So if you're waiting for your Prince Charming to come up off that bitch, he's probably on that nigga. And, um, go get your man. <laughs> Maybe you should go to Gay Pride next time they have it in Atlanta. And find your man. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Get your husband. Straight bitches, all right. Standing on the gay business, all right. You know what I'm saying, let me read the scripture on the screen right quick. Isaiah three and verse nine. They say the show of their countenance doeth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. All right. Before I continue, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakadash. <clears throat> double honors to the apostles, excuse me, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach, and of course, where I learned this truth. All right, peace and salutations to the Lord's lick, being the house of David. All right, today is uh, September the 9th, year 2024. Hope for you're in Jacob's trouble. And as you can see, <clears throat> you know, we need that day to. Uh, we need that day to come, all right? The time of Jacob's trouble. We need that to come, all right? To get these two-third undesirable wicked Babylonian niggas up out of here, all right? I showed you a comp, and you've seen what you've seen, all right? Uh, it's just madness, all right? It's just madness, all right? That homosexual demon, demon is uh running rampant through this land, all right? The land that I'm speaking of is America, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, according to the scriptures. <clears throat> where the Lord Yahweh Shai was crossed out and a homosexual by the name of Jesus was put up. All right, Cesare. And um, in the times we're in right now, you see our people, they they go running to that to that, that side of the of the fence. All right, you know. Showed you a couple of clips. You had this saucy Santana nigga. All right, this, this lets you know that we were in spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Because when you read the story about, about how it went down in ancient um, Sodom, when when um when the angels came to Lot's address and they went into Lot's house, all right, all the men of the city came to uh, Lot's door and they was you know pressing up on him, wanting to you know get get their hands on the angels so they could rape them pretty much, all right. And it was all the people of the city; they are all sodomites. That goes for children as well. So when you seen that that uh that tranny walking up the street, they they his name. It's what Santana, some Santana, saucy Santana. I think that's the name. All right, you you can hear the the the, the young boys, all right, uh, making sexually suggestive uh, remarks at him. All right, you know what I'm saying? Showing that these little niggas is gay too, bro. 
All right, these little niggas is homosexuals, just like these big niggas is homosexuals. All right, uh, one of them little niggas rubbing all on his arm and shit. You know what I mean? This place got to be destroyed with two out of three of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans with it. All right, you got to go up and smoke with this place, with the vibration, with the lifestyle that's not only accepted, forced in this place. All right, because you niggas are ass. The heathen. All right, there's nothing you can do with no little niggas like that. Them little niggas gonna grow up and be moles. They already moles now. All right, you know what I'm saying? Watching a, a, a man portray himself to be a woman walk down the street. And these little niggas is catcalling at him and shit, you know? It's madness. But that's why the Lord gotta bring that sword. He gotta bring that punishment. All right, and, it, and that's why the scriptures say he gonna slay utterly, old and young. Or right, he ain't showing no mercy to you wicked ass niggas out here, right? What else we have up in there? Um, they had the opening clip. You had the woman. She was talking about uh, the majority of these men, or or uh, in these gay clubs and shit. Which, hey, she's right. All right, the only the only real men left in this society is the hopeful elect men. All right, the men of the house of David. All right, those are the real men left out here those are the real desirable men and these women are finna start seeing that they see it now but they're finna start running to that all right because isaiah 4 and 1 is right around the corner all right all hell is getting ready to break loose in these babylonian streets all right and when that goes down i mean shit it's a lawless society and only the strong gonna survive and i ain't talking about strong physically the strong you know what i'm saying spiritually because the lord is only gonna be covering his elect all right you could be the biggest, strongest nigga walking around and You know, when that day come, if you ain't know the elite, you're going to get your ass used and abused out here, right? So let me get another scripture right quick. Uh, this one in... Kind of like this one in the Syrac. I think it's 19 and verse... 31. Let me see. Yeah, verse 30. So like it. Verse 29 and verse 30. It say a man may be known by his look and one that hath understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. A man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is. All right. So even in that clip when you had them uh the baseball playing ass nigga, all right, you this big funny, funny ass, uh he look like he's a Moabite. All right, you know what I'm saying? They playing grab ass and shit. This, that's why I quit playing sports as a youngster, right? I ain't gonna even lie. You know, when I went to high school, this is a quick personal testimony. When I went to high school and shit, all right, um, we was getting ready to, we had two a days and shit during the summer and whatnot, all right, and, um, you know, it was football. The reason I quit playing that shit, I didn't even make it to the first season because these niggas wanted me to shower with, the, with everybody else. And I just, even back then, I just, my mind would not let me do that bullshit. I'm like, man, this shit ain't right, bro. What the fuck I want to get in the shower with a whole bunch of, other niggas for it. and then the way them niggas was running around the locker room playing and shit it was just a bunch of little little girly ass niggas man and I, I and that spirit came with me way back then and i was like man fuck this shit this shit ain't for me all right even though i like football and i'm pretty good at this shit i don't even want to i don't even want to play it no more because i ain't trying to be around this homosexual shit all right i didn't see any niggas get rolled up on by other niggas in the locker room and shit they they, they, they came with them niggas like they was playing with them and shit but Man, that shit looked too goddamn penitentiary for me. I was like, nah, this ain't, this ain't some shit I want to be around, bro. All right. So then when you see these niggas on the baseball team, these niggas in the huddles and shit, sticking their fingers up each other's rectums, like, these niggas are through. All right, the, the average American citizen is fucking through. All right, and I think that said the Mexican uh baseball league. All right, man, if you ain't in a, if you ain't a part of the elect, your ass is finished out here. All right, you, you just got a, you got a bitch-ass spirit. All right, and on any given day, you subject to do some vile ass shit, bro. All right, you sodomite ass niggas, bro. Even if these niggas ain't popping other men up the ass or being funny like that, they'll probably pop their woman up the ass. I mean, these niggas is just through. All right, and you can see that you can see that spirit on them. All right, you look at these niggas. Look at how they move. Look how they laugh. Look how they talk. Look how they walk. Look how they stand. All right, bunch of little girl ass niggas, man. So when Eve made that statement that she was making in that first clip, all right, it's some truth to what she's saying, all right? The uh, the average man out here is moving like that, all right? The only men who, or true men and real men who 
<clears throat> don't move that way and don't rock that way is the lick man, all right? Let me get a couple more. And we'll uh, see where we This wasn't meant to be too long. This was just something I seen not too long ago. One second. Uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. I'm going to hit that Leviticus 18 first. Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. All right, but you can't tell these niggas that on this side, all right? Go to Leviticus 20. All right, in verse 13, if a man also lie with mankind as he lie with womankind, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So this is a, a act worthy of death. All right. Amos 5 and 10. It's that hate the evil and love the good. Yeah. No, that's Amos. Uh, hold on. It say they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh the rightly. See, when you speak about these things and condemn them, all right, the world's going to hate you for it, all right? Because they are of their father, the devil. They love this world and the things that come with this world. Amos 5 and 15, it say hate the evil and love the good. All right, we read in Isaiah 3 and 9, all right, that act, when you when that act is committed, you're rewarding evil to yourself, all right? And the scriptures say, hate the evil and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord, Yahweh was shy power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph, all right? You know, the remnant of Joseph, you know, that's like code word for the elect. Because in two thirds of our people, you know, they they gonna they gonna do what they gonna do. They gonna let their freak flag fly. All right, they gonna be at these uh these gay clubs. You know what I'm saying? These man, even if they ain't at them gay clubs and shit, you know these niggas move <clears throat> these niggas move undercover. All right, going back to what I was saying when I was in high school and shit. You know what I'm saying? The whole fucking football team used to make fun of this one individual. And of course, he was a mo. All right, they used to make fun of this nigga in front of everybody. All right, you know, you, you see the nigga out there just be, make fun of him, pick on him and shit. But come to find out, you know what I'm saying? Half them niggas, if not all of them, a good majority of them niggas was fucking with that dude behind the scenes, all right? They pick on that nigga in front of everybody else, all right? And then behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? They they doing what they doing with that nigga, standing on gay business, all right? And that's why, you know what I'm saying? This shit is it's funny to see, but, you know, you just got to grin and bear this shit and just... Look at these niggas, man. I just pray you how about some hours shot bring the destruction. ASAP. All right, it ain't much left for these niggas to do out here. They ain't got a lot of time to continue to, you know, go off the deep end in that madness. All right. You know, Esau getting ready to lock this bitch up again. <clears throat> all right, he got that, uh, them new variants going around. All right, and it's gonna, it's gonna get real nasty out here soon. All right, we in September. We already... Gonna be pretty much in the middle of September. Today is the ninth. All right, by the end of this week, we'll be halfway through September. All right, we got the Day of Atonement in a couple of days. All right, so while Jake is out here, you know what I'm saying, stacking his iniquity up, all right, the elect is trying, you know, to, to make atonements for their wickedness, all right, and their sins and where they fall short. All right, just two completely different mindsets of people on this earth right now. You got the wicked who gonna do wickedly, and none gonna understand, and you got the righteous, all right. Who, who were ultimately covered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh before the foundation of the earth was laid, to be trying to, you know, get right with the Lord before he comes back, trim their limbs, all right? But anyway, this is just, a, uh, you know, some quick and to the point. You know, I saw them clips earlier this morning, and um, I wanted to put up a video right quick on it, and, you know, speak on it and condemn it, you know? So, uh, any questions or comments, you know, just leave them in the comment section. All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Royal Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect. Form Yasharala and Abba Baal Shalom.